Hello, I'm Assistant Chief Clay Christensen of the City of Madison Fire Department in Madison, Wisconsin. And this is our new Engine 12. Um, it's a Pierce Quantum. Uh, we can go around and see some of the features we chose on it. We've got the uh, Quantum chassis with the extended uh, ceiling or rough 12 inch extension. Um, went to a manual seat this go around. We used to have the air seats in there and our AEs said they wanted to go back to mechanical so we went to a Bostrom seats and I think it's got a more, um, we think hopefully a more reliable sensor in them also, seat belt sensors and so on. So um, coming back here I guess uh, get to the pump panel area. We went with all the new lever style rather than the pullout. Um, it's our advantage we find on it is the ease of use and also lack or uh, less uh, universal joints. Actually, no universal joints, minimal joints. Um, this is the first one we've actually gotten with the tank to pump and the whole panel with this. Uh, I mean, our last two have it now, but we've also got the Husky 12 foam system, class AB. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Oh, removable panel here for easy access to the pump. We've also got our quick deployment uh, things. Um, we went with the heavy duty webbing and where you can just click it over and hold it in and also removable trays for ease of connecting, uh, reloading. Also with a removable panel in that side compartment there too for ease to get at the pump. Um, up here we've got for our Longboard access from either side. So our backboards there, along with we keep our two and a half uh, cross lay up on the upper one. Got a Whalen, both uh, flood, spot, combination uh, scene light on the top. This is a reverse hinge door we put on just on this side for ease of uh, entry for the AE when they're working on the uh, pump panel. Got the uh, swing out style, swing out style of a tool mounts. Obviously, you get three sides of mounts then for hand tools and so on. Nice pull down strap for vertically challenged. Um, other than that, we put, we did place our uh, SCBA, AE SCBA in the side now. We used to have it just keep it in the spare seat. And we found that was causing problems, people climbing up at an emergency, up in and out with the SCBA carrying it and so on. This has worked out pretty well for us. Okay, okay at the rear here, this uh, the last two engines we got, we expanded the height of this roll-up door. And we also moved the roll itself back behind here because we've got our little giant that goes across here. We found this was wasted space anyway, so now we Put the roll back here to give us clear full height all the way back to here. This is where we're going to mount our fire extinguishers. With before when it was seven inches down further, it was a hard to remove the extinguishers. This gives us plenty of clearance for the taller bottles. Or um, that. Oh, we did put a reverse camera in this one that shows up in our command zone center uh, uh, screen up there in front. We've also got the blind spot on the uh, passenger side camera that shows right up on that also on the command zone screen. This we went to about uh, two, three years ago, the integrated ladder compartment, which we keep in a 24 extension and a 14 foot roof ladder, along with some other attic ladder, fold up ladders and some other tools, some pike poles in New York um, tools. Uh, thing we like about this, we used to keep it on the side we like this now for easy deployment. You can pull it out, pull it about two thirds of the way out. One person can grab it on their shoulder and go. So even the, uh, we had some of the more, uh, more shorter people in the department had a hard time getting it off of the side because it was a little higher and inset. Along with that, we gained a lot of compartment space on the passenger side also. We use the auto ejector for the cord in the rear. Then, like I stated before, we got the little giant that goes across the back here. Uh, we switched over to that probably oh, three, four years ago just for the versatility of the little giant compared to the uh, step ladders. 
Um, once we finish getting our racks in there, we put our uh, high-rise kits on some pegs right along there so you can walk right onto it and throw it over your bottle. So that's worked out real well for us. This we've kind of switched. In the last few models, we've switched to turning this into our EMS compartment again. We were having problems with people carrying multiple things out of the cab and possible trip hazard and so on and so forth. So now we can keep our EMS bags and our monitors down here with that heater. We've got a ceramic heater in there and all that keeps things from freezing during the winter. Going back to the quantum cab, a couple of years ago we assessed all the different uh, chassis that were up at Pierce and we're very happy with the steps on this. They're all equal steps going into it and we found it's the most comfortable and what we considered the most safe step to enter and exit out of a cab. So we kind of assessed that for the last uh, few years on it and decided we had been going with it and we're sticking with that. Like I said, we purchased two engines this year, uh, engine 11, engine 12 for uh, City of Madison. Um, City of Madison is a city with 13 stations right now. We're building our 14th station in 2018. Um, we're all Pierce throughout our whole fleet. and. Uh, like working with Pierce and that's about it. <laughs>